guys, welcome back. Um, I finally completed this this journal. This is a design team project for uh, Tracy Fox using her gorgeous kit, Oula Chic. Uh, you guys know I've done this a journal using this before. Uh, that one was slightly different. This is uh, one of Nick the Booksmith's tome style journal. So I'll let you see the spine and then that's the back. It's it's I've done it in I've painted it in kind of a cream and then I've just got various vintage vintage laces. I've got some white, I've got you know the darker and then some really light creams. I wanted it to just be a nice mix. Um, in my mind this just totally says wedding to me, a wedding journal. I, I just, I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out. Uh, I put a little tag there, it says a door, and then it's been collaged with fabrics, laces, and then one of the images from the kit. The closure is a sorry silk, and I've left it long, so in case you the journal expands more. It's a three signature, I don't know if I said that, 180 pages. It is in my shop. And we'll just get started going through. Um, let's see here. Just various trims, um, some cheesecloth, buttons throughout, lots of ephemera. This time I've just used a varied, um, just to add, you know, something a little bit different. Um, so there's there's a big selection of um, ephemera with the kit. This is a fabric pocket that I've collaged using um, some of the images from the kit. I've got, I think, two that I've done that way. We'll see as you go along. Um, here's another <coughs> collage with some antique trims, some muslin, and some vintage buttons. Um, just an, a French receipt that was printed out. Um, this is one of the tags from the kit. Um, let me think. Tea dyed papers. Um, this is just another little tag that I had in my stash. Glassine bag. Every uh, Well, not every page, but a lot of the pages have been hand torn um, using this ruler and I've got the link below if you're interested in one of these rulers it's very easy to get the, this beautiful edging to your papers so I'll leave the link below for that if you're interested in that um, more uh, layering of <clears throat> let's see on this page I've got the tea dyed paper then I've got some of the image um, paper that's been printed out and then another receipt and I've just uh, this has been stitched down and then this has been torn so that you got a tuck spot there another little tuck spot here with some fussy cut flowers some of these are tabs that are in the kit here I've created a uh, belly band and then just included some other um, journaling cards that I've got in my stash this was just a paper bag that I had and I just cut it up and stitched some pocket in there just for something different I think it's nice to have um, some of the craft to go against you know everything else and this is uh, part of Tracy's faux ephemera love that <laughs> love that kit I cannot um, say enough about that kit so um, this is a um, music sheet pocket. I've included one in every signature. And then you guys, if you've been following me on the 100 day project, you know this is one of the, um, the little flips I made. So here's the tuck spot I was talking about. So you've got that, then you've got within it this little tag I made. More collaging there. Um, here we've got one of the pockets from the kit, one of the tags, and then this is some more um, receipt that I printed, added a little bit of a, 
I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm exhausted today. I don't know what's wrong with me, so please forgive me. My brain is just, I'm struggling. <laughs> and I've still got so much to do. I just, I, I don't know. But I am really, really tired today and my brain's not functioning. This is avocado dyed paper. Um, like I said, she's got tabs with the kit. This is the lined paper that comes in the kit. I've done stamping. Oh, I love that image. And then I've tried to distress, um, you know, after I've torn the papers, I've come back and inked it. Oh, yeah, this is the other uh, fabric pocket that I've included. There's nothing in it, but you can see I stamped. Um, then I've stitched it onto various layers of um, lace that's been sewn onto, um, uh, you know the word. Yes, fabric, fabric, that's it. Um, this was one of the other projects in the 100 Day uh, Challenge. And another couple of more um, little journaling cards. So that I've just clipped in. Yeah, I feel like I'm just starting to get a little bit overwhelmed now because I've got design team projects I've got due. I've got this commitment now every day on this challenge. And, and you know, I do have a life as well. <laughs> so it's like, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> um, lots of little flip places for you to write. Oh yeah, I was going to say, this is um, vintage typewriter um, book. Oh, that's not the word. I know it's not. Uh, manual. Manual. That's it. Um, that I've got. So I've just included some of that. Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just out of it today. And I had plenty of... Well, I didn't have a great night of sleep. This is a postcard. I was not particularly nice, and I've just did some uh, collaging with some paper, um, you know, various scrapbook cutoffs. And oh yeah, this is one of the um, altered paper clips. So I told you guys I was using that for this. So here's just another little journal card. Um, this I did some time back. So if you're interested in this, go back through my videos. I've got a little tutorial on how to use, you know, little piece, pieces of paper. You can make that collage. Another tag. I may have to revisit that during this challenge. I don't know. It depends on if I run out of. This is part of the challenge as well. So that's um, another little tag there. And some more um, torn receipt that's been stitched. Okay, so that's the first signature, guys. Here's another pocket. There's nothing in this one. But you'll see there is lots of ephemera in here. But it was just getting so big. And I... I don't really like to overfill my journals. Um, I mean, I want to make sure you guys get lots of ephemera, but I don't like it when I when they get so large that I can't close them properly. This is part of Tracy's faux ephemera. Love that, and that is also as well part of that. No, this is part of Ula Chic. And then this was just another little envelope I've, I've glued together and included that so you've got another place there. Um, another little um, bingo card from Tracy's kit. Another little card from her kit. More of the tabs. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. Here I took an um, old vintage opera I don't know, like a sheet, you know, and I've cut that down, stitched it. Quite a lot of sewing in this journal. Um, this was part of the challenge. I did those envelopes. I don't remember what day, so I've tucked that in there. There's nothing in it, but you could use it in this journal or in another one. Um, here I've done a bit more collaging and made this little tag to go in this pocket. Another tag from Tracy's kit. I made a little tuck spot there. And then there's another one of the um, paper clips. So I've got all of the paper clips that you saw in the in the challenge thing that have been used in this. 
And then here I just added this little envelope that's been tucked there. And here's another little pocket, another tag with a pocket and a tiny tag. Some more collaging there. And then this is a um, little bag that I've that I've glued shut. <laughs> oh gosh, I tell you. There's another tag I made. I love how that's come out. And then a bit more collaging here with some various uh, trims and and then another this is for my stash and so there's lots of writing space as you can see lots of tuck spots uh, another one of the tags from the kit and I've added that bit of trim to it to and then here I've got couple more tags that I made. Yeah, lots of stamping I did throughout. Um, another little bag that's, I can tuck some things in here. I've done a flip out. Um, so you've got a um, place here you can add some items. Here's one of the Tim Holtz things. And then this is the little tiny tag that I made in part of the um, challenge as well. Lots of little journaling cards there. And then another journaling card from my stash. Another one here. And then I've got and altered the altered paper clip here with another you saw me make this tag another little journal spot there sorry guys I um yeah never mind sorry <laughs> sorry I went quiet there a um, couple journal cards And then here I've got um, another little tag I made, another journal card there, and then another stitched tag. And you get these pockets within the kit as well. It is just, it's beautiful. It really is a beautiful set. Here you got another tuck spot there. I love how that tag's come out. And then this pocket on the back here. And just another little uh, printed out postcard. And uh, this, these little envelopes come in the kit. <coughs> this one I left unglued. So you could journal within it or glue it. Added a little bit of washi there. And then this is the back of the journal. And here I took a music sheet, made a pocket, and then I layered lots of old trims that I had. And that's tucked in there, so you got another little envelope there. So there it is. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, oh dear, folded that. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out. Um, like I said, it's just, uh, to me, it just really says wedding journal um, but what a beautiful Mother's Day gift this would be as well um, yeah it just it's just so feminine so there you go guys I'm gonna get this um, uploaded and I will be back tomorrow with another project you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you soon bye <music>